In the USA alone, over 500 million straws are used every day. The majority of straws end up in our oceans, polluting the water and drastically affecting marine life. Each year, 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine animals die from ingesting plastic. If we don't act now, by the year 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. This is where the independent global campaigning organization Greenpeace became active to present a new campaign against straw pollution called What the Suck. The goal of the campaign is to encourage Swiss consumers to change their habits, not consider other options and to say stop to disposable plastic straws. Its concept is simple. It shows the progress of the damage on the animals living in the streams as an ongoing process, calm, silent, unfolding before our eyes. No brutal images, the straw is presented as a loading bar quietly performing its morbid task. The idea is divided into four visuals. Each represents a different animal. Two are present in Switzerland and the others are not. This allows to show the global problem while maintaining a local aspect and the interconnection of these two levels. The campaign exists offline and online. There are posters in F200 and F12 on the streets and posters in magazines. Offline, she invites people to save a life on the dedicated site whatthesuck.ch. Online, it exists in form of animations on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, but also as a digital activation. The digital activation is the website whatthesuck.ch. On this site, people can watch the progress of the bar and are invited to click on stop to stop it. Once they click, we ask them a question about straw pollution. They answer by true or false. After clicking, it is mandatory to like the Greenpeace Facebook page to receive the correct answer. The daily challenge is to try to stop the straw every week so that the animals can continue to live. But for it to stop, it takes 100 people every day to answer correctly. The goal is to really inform the audience and become aware of the problem. If people answer correct, they are invited to share the question of the day on their social networks to get more people engaged. If they are wrong, this is an opportunity to enlighten them on this dramatic situation. The campaign lasts for one month with four challenges, one challenge a week. During these four weeks, the public will be introduced to four of the most affected members of sea life of straw pollution. Turtles, seabirds, seals and fish. For street marketing, tote bags, towels, as well as coasters were made with the visuals of the campaign. The problem with straws is that they exist everywhere. Therefore, these objects allow you to remember almost constantly the problem of straws and bring a reflection to people. Soon enough, we not only had 500,000 participants in Switzerland taking part in the challenge, but also tripled the number of our Instagram and quadrupled our number of our Facebook followers, increasing the notoriety of Greenpeace and making a step forward to stop straw pollution. The campaign had a huge global impact on social media participation that even politicians and governments heard about it and reacted, even leading to bans in restaurants, cities and countries. The total ban on the distribution of plastic straws. For ba plastic bags, greenies now want to ban plastic drinking straws. Scotland and Taiwan are banning plastic straws. Thanks to real facts and daily reminders, Greenpeace hopes to raise awareness of the situation and encourage Swiss people to stop the consumption of straws in order to save Mother Nature.